A tragic report that a baby may be among those seriously hurt in a multi-vehicle crash in the 404 in Aurora this morning. Melanie? Kev, we're still trying to confirm that information right now, but hearing that there could be two people injured, including potentially young children in this serious crash, but so far we have yet to get any information from the OPP. We can tell you that this collision happened just south of Aurora Road just after midnight. It forced the closure of all of the northbound lanes. Again, we're just waiting on confirmation of the number of vehicles involved as well as the ages and conditions of those injured the highway has since reopened still with the streets now a woman in her 30s in serious condition in hospital after being struck by a taxi near King and Strawn happened around 10:30 last night police were questioning the driver of the cab but so far no word on charges well, it looks like the picket lines at Pearson Airport, they're going to be staying put for now. And that is after workers on strike overwhelmingly rejected a new offer. 700 unionized ground crew workers voted to turn down a revised deal with Swissport by a whopping 98%. The union says the offer was almost identical to what members rejected a month ago. The company reportedly still wants to impose a three-year wage freeze and cut benefits for workers. The strike, which has lasted four weeks now, has impacted service at 30 airlines. Well, it's been over eight weeks since Toronto man Andrew Kinsman went missing, and this morning, friends will be conducting another search, but his family is fearing the worst. The 49-year-old Cabbage Town man has not been seen or heard from since June 26th. Searchers will be scouring a wooded area and hiking trail near Riverdale Park looking for any clues. Police say that the disappearance is suspicious but cannot say whether foul play is suspected. Ryerson University announcing they will be introducing all gender student housing. That means students will no longer be obligated to disclose their gender and have the option of housing that accommodates all gender identities. The option to be matched based on gender will still be available. To another story now, a man police say escaped from court on Tuesday. Now the main suspect in a Rexdale robbery last night. 24-year-old Jamar Lennon walked out of Finch Avenue court near, court near noon on Tuesday. Police are not saying which charges he was in court to face. Police now claim he was behind the robbery of a retail store in Rexdale afternoon. Uh, yesterday, rather. Police say if you see him, do not approach him. Call 911 immediately. Alleged Yahoo hacker Kareem Baratov pleading not guilty to all charges against him in the U.S. The Ancaster man made his first appearance at a U.S. court yesterday after his arrest back in March. The 22-year-old charged with helping Russian spies carry out one of the largest hacks in history, stealing information from 500 million Yahoo accounts in 2014. U.S. prosecutors allege Baratov was paid to break into at least 80 of those accounts. Baratov's next court appearance is Tuesday.